How's it going guys, YT Exotics here with another unboxing video. Now this one's really interesting because I was browsing eBay just randomly, as you can buy spiders from eBay, and I came across one that says Mystery Tarantula. Now I initially passed it up, but then I went and checked it again. I thought something looks a little bit different about this spider. So I emailed the seller and he messaged me back saying he didn't know what it was. Uh, now. On first inspection, it looks like the Philippine species of tarantula, uh, Orphanaeacus philippinus, or philippus. And um, I looked at it again and it does look a little bit too smooth. So when I messaged him, I asked, you know, some information about it. And he told me that it does look like an OBT. Now, I did think that, but I thought, you know, it's a little bit too sleek looking to be an OBT. So let's find out what's in here, guys. And if you guys have any, you know, opinions on what it is, please drop it in the comments below. So let's have a look. Right, here we go. I've got a temporary tub ready. It'll just be this one. Well, it's not temporary. It, it depends how big the spider is, really. Since I don't actually know. It didn't look too big from the picture. All right, here we go. So it's just the one spider we're unboxing today. Now, he's got on a H. gabonensis, which is an African species, which I initially thought it was some sort of Harpactera. Harpa Harpactera? I've got to brush up on my scientific names, but anyway, um, it's too orange to be that species, so definitely doesn't look like some sort of old world African though. All right, here we go. I should get a pair of tweezers for this really. One second. There we go. All right, hopefully it's not gonna run out of here. Okay. Looks like a pubic hair. Move that one to the side. <laughs> right, here we go. This is going to be interesting. All right, I can see the spider now. It's not huge, but he's quite quite a size. It was quite expensive, I must say, to you know gamble on a random species of tarantula. Okay. So it is about the size I thought it was. He said it was six to seven body, um, six to seven centimeters body, which I thought he must have got that wrong. That must be leg span. Um, now I would say yeah, it's probably about seven, eight centimeters. I can tell just based on how it looks curled up. Uh, it's well fed, that's for sure. He's done a good job packing this. Okay. Hopefully it's not going to bolt everywhere. Hey, it looks pretty chilled. It does definitely look like that Philippine species I was talking about. It's the carapace that's going to give it away because there's the markings that look different. And yes, it is. It's, it's got to be a different species. One second, let's get this up to the camera. It's definitely got the sleek look of that species I mentioned. I was thinking it was, but the carapace markings are starburst like the OBT. But this is a, you know, this is a terrestrial and a heavy weber, which an OBT is. Um, but I can definitely tell straight away this is a terrestrial, and it's not an OBT. The shape's too different. OBTs are very arboreal built. Let's get it out. That is bizarre. What species is that? So overall size, yeah, it's about eight centimeters, guys, roughly. Slightly bigger than he thought it was. All right, yeah, it's quite fast. Okay.
There's another look at it. So you can see that starburst pattern on the carapace, but yet the build is different from an OBT. Looks like it's in pre-molt as well, just looking at the abdomen. It's looking a bit worn and a bit mottled coloured, which means that's going to darken up soon. So this one is not fully grown. That is definitely some kind of juvenile. Um, do you know what? That's actually quite a nice species of spider. Pretty awesome looking. Right, let's just move this to one side and I'll get him in his enclosure. So there's the size of him. You know, it's, uh, it's small at the minute, but it's the size of a large juvie slash sub-adult. So yeah, not the best enclosure, but definitely the right sort of size for this spider at the moment. One second. All right, here we go. It's fast. I just had to moisten that substrate. Since I don't know its care needs, I mean, it does look like some sort of old world from Africa or the Philippines, but I'm, I'm definitely sticking to Africa. So yeah, it's some sort of Harpacterella, Harpanensis, that sort of species. Now guys, if you know exactly what this is, please drop it in the comments below. I really want to know, and that way I can do research on its care needs. So it's now in its home, and yeah, just quickly do a double check to make sure there's nothing else in here, which I don't think there will be. Yeah, it's down to the floor. Yeah, nothing else. All right guys, thank you for watching. Please. Let me know in the comments and like, comment, subscribe as always. See you next time, guys.